Welcome back to Sunday's Garden video. Beautiful sunny day. It's lovely and warm. I think the weather is going to change Monday, Tuesday, so I'm going to enjoy it as I'm filming this. Couple of jobs. Oh. I have a couple of jobs to tackle today. I'm going to paint the trellis that I want to stick on the wall because I don't want you to see the wall on the trellis. I want you to see the climber. I'm going to plant the two clematis that I got. You would have seen that in last Sunday's video. And oh yeah, me olive. My olive tree is looking a bit sad. And I think either it got too much water during our Irish winter or too little. I'm not sure. I know it's like a Mediterranean um, happy plant and maybe my soil that I have in the pot is too soggy. I gave it a new pot in 2020. So two years later. So I got a bigger pot. I got this big terracotta pot. It's like ha almost the size of me. <laughs> so I'm going to make grittier soil. I have some of those like stones, the like not landscaping stones. I'll show you them. And I'm gonna just get the wheelbarrow, mix up the soil so it's nice and gritty because I think maybe my olive soil was a bit soggy and I don't like that. So we're gonna repot the olive, we're gonna plant the climbers, we're gonna cut the grass because lots of growing going on out there. And what else have I got to do? Oh my God, <laughs> I have a funny story about a bag of horse poop. <laughs> But I'll tell you that later, I currently have a bag of horse poop out in the front garden. <laughs> also, loads of people this week, my phone has just been, I'm like, oh, everyone's getting their books. So I'm delighted to say that so many people have started to receive like their pre-orders. So I'd say Ireland, they've all gotten theirs. And I was just checking my phone there in the UK, Scotland, Wales, Europe have started to get theirs. And then guys in America, Canada, New Zealand, Australia and any other further parts like in the world, rest of the world, um, have been getting their notifications to say they're on the way. So if you are in, you know, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, Australia or America, let me know if your book has arrived. I think there was one going to, I think there was one going to South Africa as well. And I was like, that's just mad. And Hawaii or something, some island. And I was like, I love it. So. Big thank you to the lads in the Easton's Warehouse. I signed 1,200 copies and so I think there was only, I think there was like 700 pre-orders through Easton's. So I wanted to make sure they were all signed and then I signed extra. So they might have some stock left if you want to get a signed copy from them. And then Bookstation as well. And I have been going around signing some books that are in physical shops. So my heart is just so full. If I look tired, it's because I've literally been crying the last two days. But not sad tears, you know, when you're just like, I'm just so happy you're getting it. No leaky eyes today. It's all good tears. So yeah, I want to do a bit of gardening because I want to ground my energy as well. But um, thank you. And also, if by any chance you had pre-order reasons and it's not signed, just let me know because I signed 1200. So just send me an email if you had ordered by with Eason's before the 10th of May and for some reason it arrived unsigned, just send me an email and we can sort something out. I don't know what, <laughs> but we can sort something out. And then yeah, just keep an eye on my Instagram for any other upcoming book signings and things like that. And um, because Instagram's handy, you can just share things straight away. But let's get into what we're here for, which is the bit of gardening. I'm gonna put my apron on, put my Crocs on, make myself a cup of tea and out into the garden. Miss Blondie is already I think she's in the Dahlia bed. She was in the, amongst the tulips <laughs> not that long ago and then she moved to the Dahlia bed. It's like wherever's hottest for her. <laughs> so if we look very carefully, <laughs> we have a blondie amongst the last of the spring flowers. <laughs> so if she's not in here, this is her new spot. She's like warming up the dahlias. I've noticed there's some dahlias starting to, I can see growth is starting to come up. Still have lots of spring onions. And yeah, need to sort out the grass. I'm trying not to cut it as much because I know it's good for the bees, but you know, I love cutting the grass. Also, this is a happy accident. So loads of sunflower seeds just reseeded from last year when I left like a seed head sitting on the thing. But what I did was I just thinned them out because they were growing really close together. So I just thinned them out. So when all these grow, I have a free bed of dwarf sunflowers that Mother Nature has just grown herself. So I do have some cosmos planted in here um, and whenever there's some gaps, I'll pop in some zinnias. Oh. 
Miss Blondie has changed her spot. <laughs> So yeah, very happy with my accidental sunflower bed. Okay, story time. My neighbour's having a right giggle. I, beside me. This is why I love garden people. So Brenda, she actually works for O'Brien, my publisher. And when we were in the warehouses during the week, um, on the Tuesday, we were talking gardens like, and she lives in Wicklow, the Garden of Ireland, beautiful. And I think she has horses. I think she, has she, she either has horses, or she knows someone who does, or anyway. She was able to get me the finest of Irish horse manure and uh, she was like, you never guess what I have and I was like, oh my god, Brenda, do you have horse poop? Like, do you have for compost? And she's like, it's well rotted, it is full of worms, it is the best. I was like, your garden must be amazing. <laughs> so on the Wednesday, I was with Brenda as well and we were in Bookstation's warehouse <laughs> and the poor chap, because me and Brenda were literally talking shy, we were talking about horse poop and uh, after we were in the warehouse doing our bits, we were like literally outside with our boots open in the car and she was giving me the finest, a big bag of horse poop and I had texted Karen and I was like, you'll never guess what I'm after again <laughs> and I was explaining it to her and I was like, see only like garden people would appreciate that. Um, so you would have seen in a couple of videos I did a lot of mulching um, with, I used fine bark and then I did use farmyard manure on the places where the soil is in grey, so in the woodland area and in the new border out the back. Um, so I think what I'll do is, I might hang on to this, <laughs> it's like gold isn't it? I think what I'm going to do is, I'll share some out because I know my neighbour across the road wants some for his roses. I think I'm going to mulch my roses with them. Like there's no smell off it. Well, there's only a little bit because it's like well rotted and I can see the worms in it. I'm like, oh yeah. So I'm going to put it on, I think the roses that I have in the front and give me neighbor some and then I'll hang on to the rest and I'll store it with the compost. Also don't put fresh, like any fresh manure, don't put it onto your plants because it's too strong and it will burn. The plants it has to be rotted down. So well rotted. So when it stops being stinky, 
and you can mix it in with your soil as well so you can fork it in and um, it's great for potatoes my potatoes are flying I don't think they need any more poop because um, I did mix farmyard manure when I was doing them bags up and I have all the foliage on top so they're full to the brim so yeah I think I'll let you water my roses but it was so funny me and Brenda like we were being professional and doing our book signings in the warehouse and then literally talking about gardens and like here's the bag of poop <laughs> and I'm like I love it. I only done one clematis because I want to put on the olive tree and cut the grass and my niece and nephew are coming for a sleepover in an hour and a half. So I want to get that done and then I'll paint the other trellis and put the other clematis in. But um, I just stopped for a tea break. I'm gonna put on my olive. The pot that I got for the olive, I got in, it's actually, it's called the M50 Christmas Garden Center. M50, no, the M50 Christmas shop is where it is at Christmas time. And then they have a garden center there too. And their terracotta pots are the cheapest ones I can find. Um, compared to the likes of, you know, the orchards, Woody's. Uh, Woody's haven't got many terracotta pots, but I was delighted with the pot that I got. And it's lovely, it's heavy, it's big. I had to get my neighbour to lift it out and I had to get the young flit to lift it into my car. <laughs> so I'm hoping Olive will like that pot and Olive will get about another couple of years out of it. I do think the pot that it's in right now is too small. And now I have a pot. Um, I do have some bamboo in pots that I might put on into this one. Um, I want to use it for kind of screening and I love the noise of it as well. So that's what we're doing. A cup of tea for us. And let's put on the olive.
I'm gonna end that day because my niece and nephew are literally on the way. So I just put my lawnmower away and tidied up. How are we stay with steps? We're at 9,000, not bad. That olive tree, so I think it was just, the tips of the leaves, the new growth was just looking a bit scabby. And when I took it out of the old pot, it was starting to get a bit pot bound. You could see the roots were getting a bit, so I'm hoping that's what the problem was. So with some um, new soil, more kind of grit in it, I'm hoping I gave it a good drink. I'll wait a week and I might give it a feed and then I'll see if it starts to kind of improve. And um, yeah, if the new, I've never pruned it. I have that tree. I think I read somewhere, what was it, Karen saying, you don't prune it for like the first three years, but I have it like probably about three years now, four years. So what I might do is I might even like just prune the tips of the new growth that are a bit bad and then see um, if the new growth is healthier. I don't want to kill it because <laughs> you know how expensive trees are. <laughs> but it's a good strong um, stem, trunk, trunk. So I am going to wash my monkey paws <laughs> before my niece and nephew come. That's what I grew up to in the garden this week. It's actually lovely and warm um, and some of the stuff, there's been lots of growth so those summer plants are all starting to like come up and yeah I have a tray of zinnias that I still need to put on. <laughs> I actually think I should just put them straight out into the soil now. But um, yeah, that's what I grew up to in the garden this week. I hope you all have a lovely week ahead. And I will see you in the next video.